Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we're making our way back up to the wall station because the solution that we tried last time from commenter Ingo uh, actually works if I set it up properly. So we're going to go ahead and do that and see how it functions. Thank you very much Ingo for sending a second comment kind of explaining how things are going to work. All right, let's set this thing to manual mode so that we don't have to worry about taking uh, too much time here. All right, so we're going to select the red wire and connect it directly to the combinator so that we get the multiplication factor. And we're going to add and remove these filter inserters. And we're just going to use one inserter there. So we're going to look at this and say we're looking at um, all the, let's see, construction robots and uh, logistics robots. We want to have total, which is why logistics bots are Y. So we'll just make this a logistics bot. And then T is going to be construction bots. So it should stop when we get 50 in there. I think because we're asking for, let's just make sure that's not it. Here's the combinator, 50 of these and 50 of those. Let me take out these guys. And we'll put some into here again. And then, is that how many? Yep, okay, let's put in the um, here and see how many we get. We have 40 of those guys. Or do we have any more Logibots in here or in the chest? None in the chest. Okay, looks like we have 50. Let's see what else we're getting in here. Oh, now that's interesting. We need to stop this immediately because <laughs> we need to make sure that this only transfers Logibots and uh, construction bots. Okay, do we have extra bots in here? No. What if I put extra bots in the... Oh, there are extra bots in the train. Okay, so this is saying, hey, we we see extra bots in the train, but we're not putting them out because we have enough here and there are indeed 50 here. All right, so the reason I added this, <laughs> kind of important, um, is so that it doesn't take all of the repair kits. Construction bots can pick up the repair kits from the passive provider chest. There is no need to actually insert them into the robo port. So just keep that in mind. And um, I want to go and probably redo these different spots here. So this is this is our new. Um, I like this. This this works really great. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to our blueprints library. Not that one, this one here. Let's see. All right, we have canceled it again. And thank you for everyone who reminded me of the simple fact that whenever you copy a blueprint somewhere, it also copies the name over. So even though we had changed the name, um, it uh, it is so happened that it copied the name to the next one as it's going to do here. Um, we're going to copy the blueprint over again to Wall North Two, and it's going to change the name of the station as we'll see in just a second. Okay, whoops! I want to go and uh, get back into the train and say manual mode. Great. So we will. We need to probably get rid of these thingies. And with all good hope and good luck, this will be the last time we change this station. Unless we see a need to... Wait, what happened there? What did you add? Another signal? No! No more signals. Wait, what was that? Somebody else had a question. Oh, this is definitely not good there. Why is that there? That's very odd. And then here, we don't need those two either. Um, somebody had a, a question about our set. Hey, this is on a curved track. Now, wagons only work on curved track if they are regular cargo wagons. It will not work if it's an artillery wagon or a, a fluid wagon, I believe. Definitely not a fluid wagon. Not really sure about the cargo wagon or about the um, artilleries, but we can test it out and see. All right, so this is Wall North 2. 
Let's go back on the train and go back to East One. All right. No. Oh, darn it. Let's... We need to change this at a station. It's kind of strange. That it would, like, default to this thing. Okay, here we go. But I am kind of thinking of having an artillery excursion very shortly. Which means that I want to make start making some artillery shells, getting together a train to get ready, and then just kind of eliminating a lot of these biters along here because it, they don't they're not working very well for us at the moment. Okay. Rotate. Yay. Boom. There's another... Really? Why do we have that on there? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get rid of that lamp. Oh, they're also putting up this... Uh-huh. Why is that pole there? Do I need that? Oh, I guess I do. Whoops. Okay. Alright, so now I can... <laughs> no! I'm gonna have to redo the blueprint yet again. Uh... Okay, let's just get rid of this again till there. It should be fine. Get rid of that robo port. Seems like we have signals working. Yes, great. Okay, back in there and then back to our home base. Hooray! And of course, this is so weird. Why did it change the name of this here? That should not work. That should not happen. No, 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 no. Um, I guess it's doing it because I changed the actual name of the station here while it's here. But I I don't think I like that feature. That's not great. Especially if you are changing, like, blueprinting stations. This is really not great. I don't think it did that before. I'm pretty sure that it didn't do that. I think what it did is it left it here. But maybe, or, or did it leave it? I don't remember. Maybe it was linked. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It'll be fine. I suppose the only time you would really encounter that is a situation like this where you're actually blueprinting over a name that you already had. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get back home here. And I think I want to start building artillery. Artillery shells. What do we need for that? So we have some science finished, which is great. Now then, uh, artillery shells. Where would they be? Explosives and explosive cannon shells. This sounds like an awful lot of stuff to do. Um, explosives are here, I think, somewhere. Coal, sulfur, and water. Explosive cannon shells, steel, plastic, and explosives. Do we have any steel going up there? Not sure if we added it to this area. We don't have any at the moment. It's not really ideal. This is interesting that this is not actually making much solid fuel. I guess we can possibly belt steel up this way. Where is the steel going? We have... Okay, a few of these guys going this way. I guess we could indeed keep going up the bus and just kind of going back along the plastic, maybe. Or we don't maybe need to go up the entire bus. Maybe just have a line going through here. Or we could make a local production with this small iron patch there. That's a very valid way of doing things as well. And then connect it later. How's this going? Wow, biter land here. That's not a, not 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 good at all. Oh no no no! Just copy these along here. In case we need some. Looks like we do need some. 
I have a feeling, oh wow, big, 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 big biter, biter groves. I think that I really would like to get artillery shells and just drive the train to these nice ends of the line and have the biters get killed off. Okay, so Wall North 1 has everything it needs. This is awesome. And it has closed the station. So station is red. Now the train doesn't need to go there anymore. This is great. Um, yeah, let's make, maybe I'll make the local production of steel. How about that? Seems reasonable to me. I'm going to go out here and just grab this. And I think it's enough to have like one uh, setup for this. I don't think we need more than one setup. So I'm going to grab the blueprint for this. And then just, or copy it, I should say. It's very easy to do that. Ah, but do we have fuel? That is another good question. <laughs> it's like, darned if you do, darned if you don't. Oh, yes. Um, we don't have any fuel over here. That's not ideal. I guess we can maybe branch off the solid fuel to get this back. Maybe. All right. Let us do this then and put it here. And I'll go ahead and add another robo port down here in this area. So we can have all that organized quite nicely. Put this over here. And then here do the very nice um, ore lines. Let's see how we can do this. Oh, gee. I wish I had auto deconstruct. It's so nice to have that mod that will automatically mark things for deconstruction when they're not needed. Really super useful. Let's see. That one's done. Just to help us recycle the miners a bit. All right. Oh, I was going to go and grab a section of stuff with possible power poles. Don't know if I need the actual power poles or not. We'll see. Okay, that works. Well, it would work if I grabbed more of it. I forgot to grab the opposite side there. Let's take that again. There we go. And reverse this belt. So we'll have a... Maybe put it... That's not ideal at all. Nope. Okay, it's fine. We'll just put it here. Oh, and I forgot the extra belt. No. That's some very, very bad copying. That's for sure. So I wonder how many this is. Let's find out. That's 67. 67 is more than enough to fill a belt. Or a red belt, I should say. Not a blue one, of course. Alright, let's see if we can... Oh, we need to have a little bit more stuff going on here. I think I'll put this on this side of stuff. There we go. And over here, so we can put down the miners, since I clearly don't have enough of them. Perfect. Alright, we're getting mining done now. Of course, extend the power poles here to cover these miners. Oopsies. No, no, no. There we go. And then we'll paste some more of these miners this way. Yep, that's good. 
Nice. And get the belt here as well. All right, so that should be enough to actually start the process here. Um, let's take this this way. What I want to do is I want to blueprint a belt set of belts. One coming down, one going up. Okay, down will go this way, up will go that way. We'll copy this. Perfect. Oh, I guess I may not even need that. I thought the rock was going to be in, a way, in the way. All right. Nice. Let's make use of most of that. Okay, so now all we need to get is some solid fuel coming down here in order to provide for that array. I will, let's see. Oh, I ran out of belts, no! Oh no. Oh, that's some deep sadness right there. All right, we're requesting 500, but we need to wait, I think, on our over robot overlords to bring that to us. This is going well. Nice. That's getting all filtered out. Hooray. Nice, nice. Excellent. Bots, please bring me stuff. Is there anyone? Yes, here they come. The valiant bots bringing me stuff. Hooray. No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We're coming up here. Hopefully they can come and see us shortly. Come on. Oh, there they go. There they come. Look at this migration of belts coming up here. Fantastic. Look at that. Yay. The yay is real and clear. All right. Still coming up. Hopefully some of this is in a red zone. There we go. If I stand here and construct from afar it should be fine good i think this might even need to be upgraded i think i'll upgrade this belt here and uh mark it so that this stuff does get upgraded that seems really strange to me that we have we had yellow belt there for the longest time okay so now we get some steel coming in that is great. Okay, this is going to be a fairly long production line, apparently, um, to make these things. We don't need a whole lot of them. So, um, but we're going to just try to get a few made. Let's start with making explosives. These things need eight explosives. And explosive cannon shells need two explosives. Wow. So we need... Lots and lots of explosives. See how we make those things. We need them. Coal, sulfur, water. Four seconds to make two. Um, in a chemical plant. So I'm thinking, let's see. This needs one every four seconds. And this makes two every one second. All right. So in four seconds, this is going to make eight. So one sulfur machine can feed eight explosives machines, as I read that, if that's correct. It may not be correct, but hopefully it is decent. All right. So we will go and make um, several of these guys. These are going to make explosives. All right. So this is going to be here. I think I'm just going to do eight of these in a row. All right, and we need two in and then water in, but then we can have explosives out. Right, right.
All right, got to get my things non-confused here. All right, and I want to connect this up to, we need to connect it to water, first of all. And then petroleum. I don't know where this is going to connect. Oh, it's going to connect at an inconvenient spot. But it's okay. We can deal with inconvenient spots. It's fine. Okay, great. It is now making stuff. So now this one needs to be... Um, coal. Alright, we need to get coal on the line here. We do have coal coming in for plastic, so I feel like... <laughs> I feel like the spaghetti is going to become even more prevalent in this playthrough. Um... Yeah, we, we're a very bit close to the um, the ore lines here, so that makes sense to be a little bit uh, spaghettified. But spaghetti is good. Spaghetti is great. Uh, it's very tasty. It's extremely useful, especially if you're building bases in Factorio. What I want to do is something like... Wait, what is the other thing we needed for this um, shell here? We need radars. Really? Plastic. Oh, man. Okay. You know what? I think I want to have a very interesting little belt coming along here. Which is half... Um, yes, we're going to have half coal and half plastic. It's going to be the most bizarre combination here that we have done quite a while. I don't know if this is even possible. Okay, we're going to try this. This could be okay. Oh, no. Nope, this is not going to work that way. Um, no. <laughs> this is very, very convoluted. All right. Yes, the craziness shall abide here. Uh huh. Let's take this until the belt is empty. There we go. Now we can connect this up again. All right, that was not quite as good as I wanted it to be, but it'll be okay. Okay, so this one is coming along here. We'll have the steel. Oh boy, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Wait a second. All right, we want coal to be coming onto this belt, I think. So I want to do this. Coal to the left. Coal, coal, coal. We're doing serious spaghetti, by the way, guys, today. This is um <clears throat> kind of interesting, for sure. And then this thing can go on this side there. Plastic and this one will go on the same side. Perfect. I think that's okay. Did we really did did we need this steel? Yes, we did. We needed steel for the explosive cannon shells. All right. And then radars, I don't know what we need to make a radar. Probably too much stuff. We might just need to <laughs> Yeah, figure something out in that line, i.e. maybe, or e.g. I should say, not i.e. Um, I'm thinking we can do a 
uh, a request or chest out here for pudding. Radars. All right. Which is a little bit wrong. That'll be fine. Quest radars. Now the good thing is we don't need that many of them, so I think it's okay to have a requester chest here. We could easily belt this in, but it's a long belt and I don't want to deal with it. So stuff that is small like that, I'm happy to, to deal with. Now then, uh, I'm going to copy this. I think we said it was eight of these guys to each um, sulfur maker. So that's two, four, six, eight. Great. Now then, um, now we need to make explosive cannon shells and then regular cannon shells. So these guys, they need two steel plates and plastic bars. No, wait, we just need explosive cannon shells. We don't need regular cannon shells. All right. These need all three. This one needs explosives and explosive cannon shells. Um, and the eight explosives. How many explosive cannon shells? Four of them. Oy. Maybe I could do like, I'm trying to figure out like how many of these machines I want making this stuff. Come on, bots. I really need your help here. We must have help. Because at the moment, we're kind of suffering here. We need more machines. Because I can't really continue without this other stuff. It's kind of inconvenient. There's more radars coming in. This is great. And probably, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put a whole bunch of machines down here so that the bots will bring me some. Or I could, I guess I could get, um, well, I could do this. That would be even more um, efficient, I think, if I just had them bring me a bunch of uh, chemical plants. 10, maybe 20? Uh, maybe 10. Maybe 10 is going to be enough, especially with all these out here. All right, they're still bringing me belts, which is great. Come on, guys. Okay, here we are. Here we are, little bot guys. All right. Um, oh, wait. Are these made in an assembler? Oh, okay. All right. Looks like maybe they're made in an assembler. I don't actually need all those to begin with. Oh, well. It's kind of funny that those bots didn't change their priority to me. In fact, I wonder if I should turn these things around and make them like on the other side here i'm trying to think of like how how do i make this assembly to be fairly efficient at least it's like maybe not totally completely efficient but maybe partially efficient um Kind of a hard one this okay it's okay though Let's make like three maybe to make the explosive cannon shells because these guys they don't need to steal all right that's fine but we can have these putting out even further on perhaps Let's see this can go that way Went a little too far. Okay. <sighs> Should I do four of these? Oh, no, I think it's okay if we do this way. Let's get uh, things, stuffs. And these ones can output maybe to a belt over here. So 
So what are they needing? Steel. Okay. Nice. There we go. Now then, we can get our artillery shells made. And those can go on a belt here. Okay. Alright, do we have everything that we need? No, we need still the radars. Nice. Ah, that one ended too quickly. There we go. Alright, we're now making stuff. I'll go ahead and put this in a box. A passive provider chest. There we are. And we have one piece of artillery. I wonder how much this is going to fill up. It already has eight pieces. I suppose I can do another one, maybe. There we go. Pace production there. And that will make our artillery shells very, very, very slowly. I think what I can also do is just have these provide into multiple chests so that we can, um, oopsies. There we go. Much better. So now we have four of them. So we can load the artillery trains sufficiently or efficiently, I guess. But anyway, this is meant to make stuff over time. We need to go to our technology again and see what else we can make. Let's see. Worker robot speed five. That sounds great. Um, automation three is also good. Speed modules and productivity modules are also excellent. Should probably get those. Okay. And I think this might be actually a really good stopping point. What do we need for an artillery train car? Okay, we just need some basic materials. Looks like we'll set up concrete in the next episode. So that's something coming up. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.